We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just give that a turn. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back across. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Rios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guy. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. The tongue of Niflheim, a foul place of ice and mists, and dwarven mischief. Those runes are of Muspelheim, the fire realm. No place for children, even brave ones.
Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers. Savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Please. Take those stairs down and turn right. I'll be waiting up here. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. <laughs> 